Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt Prasant over at Kia of Columbia, getting you some information on the all new, fully redesigned 2021 Kia Sorento EX all wheel drive. This is in the sparkling silver, coming with Kia's new 2.5 liter turbo, 277 horsepower, 311 foot pounds of torque. Get a nice 18 inch wheel set on here. Keyless entry on your front two doors. Black accents on the mirror caps, window trim, rail system, and your front and rear bumper. Aggressive looking tail lights on this model for you. You get a backup camera, as well as a heated back glass for you, and a concealed rear wiper. Super sharp look, huh? There's the wiper underneath there. You've also got a power lift gate on this model, rear parking sensors. This has a third row with captain's chairs as well. You got turn indicators on your mirrors, new blind spot marker indicators on there as well. Check out these LED headlights with the LED daytime running lights. You saw the orange side markers on there too. Black painted mesh grill on here. This is a sharp looking ride guys and it gets even better on the inside. Let's go ahead and take a peek and show you everything that the EX model has to offer. First and foremost, here's that new blind spot monitor warning indicator. This has multiple colors to it, orange and red, depending on the level of the blind spot threat. Inside, we've got a nice black interior with minute brushed aluminum traces and accents traveling along the dash with some nice textured wood grain accenting. Look at these door handles. Very nice. Power locks, windows, and mirrors. Driver window is automatic. You have a convenient window child lock up front here. Nice uh, little extra piece of visible glass here on the A-pillar. Bottle holders and storage inside. You've got a 10-way adjustable driver's seat. Gray stitching here, perforated leather, nicely bolstered. Let's go ahead and hop on in, get out of this wind. I'm sure you guys love that, right? To the left, we've got dash illumination controls. Lane keep assistance controls, traction control and power lift gate option. Steering wheel, it's gonna be leather wrapped for you. We're gonna move back just a little bit. Nice and leather wrapped option for you. Let's get some of this plastic off of here. Nice. Okay, steering wheel can manually tilt and telescope here. So you can see we can move this up, down, in, out, wherever you need that to be. We'll go ahead and get that locked in. Let's see, we've got a rubber band over here. Let's get that off. Mounted on the steering wheel, uh, same standard setup as most of your Kias have. Entertainment all on the left, driving and information tools on the right hand side. You've got voice recognition, audio source control, volume and track and preset, and Bluetooth control as well. And let's see here. Just getting them as I see them, folks. All these brand new vehicles we're getting in. To the right, you've got your information pages and tools. This page button with the lever that's also pressable is going to control your drive display. Right now we're on the first screen. Uh, but first, before we dig into the screens, you can see your drive selection, fuel range, ambient temperature, safety features that are active, odometer as well. And then you've got fuel range and coolant temperature right down here. So you can check out your fuel economy, accumulation and drive info. Accumulation is uh, over the total life of the vehicle and then your drive is for the specific drive. Uh, and then your driving modes, we'll dig into that in just a little bit. Over here, you've got safety settings, driver attention, and then settings right here. So driver assistances, speed limit, warning, timing, warning volume, haptic warning, driver attention warning, forward safety, lane safety, blind spot safety, parking safety. You can get all of that customized, right? And then if we head back here, you can customize your lights. One touch turn signal, headlight delay, high beam assistance as well. So we know we've got automatic high beams on this vehicle. Okay, um, going back, we've also got some door actions. Power lift gate, power lift gate opening, smart lift gate. If you guys are familiar with that or not, check that out. Kia has their own YouTube page for features and functions. Sound, welcome sound, gotta have that. Conveniences. Rear occupant alerts, wipers, auto rear wiper, icy road warning, auto vehicle shut off, service intervals. You can even select a different theme, theme A, theme B, theme C. I like theme A, but let's go ahead and check out theme B. You can kind of see 
This one's kind of like a brushed aluminum. This one is kind of like a twilight. Uh, this one's more of a darker gray. Let's go with the twilight. Yeah. And other settings. So you can see how this changes the look of the vehicle a little bit. Uh, information screen is also available. You've got a digital speedo, power distribution for your all wheel drive, and onboard tire pressure information as well. So over here as well, we've got cruise control. Turn this on. Smart cruise control conditions not met. That's okay. So uh, seatbelt has to be on. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay. So we have to be going a certain speed as well. Taking the seatbelt off. All right. But anyways, you've got smart cruise on here. You can set, accelerate, pause, and resume is what this new symbol is for. Okay. Um, and then you've got your smart cruise. You can choose four different following distances. And then you also have your highway driving assistance, uh, which is the little steering wheel right there. Um, those features, your lane keep assistance and your steering wheel are going to turn green when they're fully activated. Um, so definitely check that information out. This vehicle basically drives itself almost, okay? All right, so um, left-hand wand. It's gonna control blinkers, brights, headlights, fog lights, you've got automatic high beams. Um, headlights are also automatic for you as well. Right hand wand is going to control your front and rear wipers along with their sprayers as well. Vehicle is push to start and also has remote start. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the key real quick. So we've got lock, unlock, power lift gate, and then remote start. It's gonna be right here for you, okay? Up above. We've got some nice interior lighting. It's gonna be halogen on all three rows. Then you have your onboard Uvo services. So you can uh, remote start, set your temperature, all that good stuff before you hop in the vehicle. Lots of other features too. Standard rear view mirror. Then we have an eight inch display right here. Nice entertainment center with analog controls to the left and right hand side. Is this more plastic? Dare I ask? <laughs> Sure, you guys are starting to enjoy this as much as as i am you're like hey matt grab that plastic come on all right cool in the pocket you go so um on the entertainment center you can see primary applications that you can set date time let's head to all menus where you can access your phone uvo android auto apple carplay your user's manual notifications voice memos you've also got a quiet mode for the vehicle hold on let me move for these folks because they uh can't seem to get out of their own way sometimes all right there you go all right so from here you've got quiet mode this is going to reroute all of your speakers or your volume to the front speakers and then turn it down to seven Okay, and then moving over, you've also got your radio, media, and other various settings for the vehicle. Now down here is gonna be your climate control center. Uh, one thing I'd like you guys to check out is the dual ventilation. You got this nice little tiny vent down here pointing downward, or this fully openable and closable larger vent, and that's along the entire dash. I think that's really nice, really neat. Um, you've got your uh, dual climate tri-auto system on here. So you've got three different levels of airflow that you can select with your temperature and you let the Sorento take care of everything else for you. So uh, it's really nice touch sensitive controls right here for fan speed and vent modes and air conditioning. And then down below, you've got a nice power center. It's fully concealed. Uh, there's no click or press to this just feels nice, nice and smooth, okay? Uh, three USB ports right here for you, and then you also have a wireless charging pad tucked in right there for you. Heated seats are also going to be up front for your front passengers. And then we've got some nice storage uh, and cup holders and bottle holders up front here. Here's your shifter, park, reverse. Here's the vehicle in reverse. You can see right here that uh, you've got a nice wide angle backup camera showing you exactly where the Sorento is at and where you'll be traveling to. You have rear parking sensors helping you out with this vehicle as well and the horizontal lines used for distance judgment. As long as nothing is in between the left and right lines, those are the true sides of your Sorento. So just keep that in mind. 
all right and then uh, down here we've got all your different driving modes uh, for this particular all-wheel drive Sorento this is a rotatable dial instead of a spring-loaded dial um, so you've got your comfort mode this is your standard driving mode this is normal driving mode okay um, it's going to pop up on screen for you as well. I've left it on the drive mode screen purposely. Sport mode is going to be your most aggressive. And this changes the tuning. Sorry, adjusting my uh, sleeves here. This changes the tuning of the engine as well as the steering and the suspension for you. Smart is going to pay pretty close attention to how you're driving the vehicle. And it will custom tailor to something more economical or dynamic. If you need more power, it's going to pay attention and retune the vehicle to how it thinks you like to drive. You've also got your eco mode if you are trying to maximize on fuel. And then because it's all-wheel drive, you have a dedicated snow mode. Now on here as well, you have your all-wheel drive lock. You can see that that turns orange. You also have a green indicator right there on screen as well. More controls down here. So we've got our start-stop technology. This is going to help you uh, when you're uh, at a stop. This reduces your fuel consumption as well as your pollution output for the vehicle. So um, you can uh, save some fuel there. This is really good for you. Auto hold is a really nice feature too. Okay, that's gonna come, on, come up in the bottom right corner. You see that? And we'll put the vehicle in drive. It is now green. I can now remove my foot from the brake pedal and the Sorento is going to hold itself in place for us now. Nice convenience. Another driver fatigue reduction tool added to you. All right, you also have downhill brake control with your all-wheel drive system. This is going to help you maintain a certain speed if you're flying downhill by utilizing the ABS system to apply the brakes automatically for you and also downshift the transmission to provide engine braking. Electric parking brake, parking sensors, and this parking button right here, your camera button, you can just turn it on. You can turn it off, turn it back on. Check that out, huh? Press this, you've got an overhead view on your camera as well. This 2.5 uh, turbo does have oh, the capability to tow. Sorry, I keep adjusting my sleeves. They're really bothering me, guys. <laughs> so um, 2.5 turbo does have a towing capacity of, I think, 3,000 to 3,500 pounds uh, to the previous 5,000. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you need a towing vehicle, you should probably buy one. <laughs> All right, so uh, beyond this, you got a little bit of extra storage here. Center console, dual tray. Glove box is lockable. You got some nice little how-to features and function guides in there for you. And visors on here are going to be uh, mirrored. Hi. Have a nice card clip with one of those uh, mentioned features and function guides. An independent light up above. And then uh, if you swing this over... These are also telescopic, so you can see that reaches the full length of the door uh, to maximize your shading needs when you, when you need them. All right, so uh, that's gonna be it for the front seating area, guys. Hope you enjoyed this so far. Beautiful vehicle, really love what they're doing with this. Let's go ahead and check out second row, third row, which they did keep in this vehicle, the hatch, as well as confirming passenger seat adjustability. Let's go ahead and get our lift gate open. black trim on the wheel wells the body side molding as well very sporty look really complements this wheel set with the silver as well this is a very nice color combination here um, in the rear here we've got bottle holders down below bottle holders up top as well too so they have the pressure tongs right here um, to hold those smaller items in place Hardback seating, the dual cargo netting, they have further optimized and taken another step. You can see this uh, dual cargo netting in the Tellurides, but they've actually made this net right here larger, and then another bag right here. Rear ventilation is gonna be available for you right here. Come on. So you got rear vents in this bad boy, as well as rear charging. You got a USB as well as a 12 volt outlet for you. <laughs> All right. And then a nice little light up above here. And, oh, not as loud. Okay, captain's chair is back here. Check that out. So, oh, look at that. Side storage, arm refs, I'm sorry, arm refs. You got the same perforated leather back here. Uh, seat belts can tuck to the side right here if you have uh, the vehicle in a cargo mode. So you can keep that tucked and out of the way. You can see right here, little come on now 
door handles also right here, or just handles for getting in and out. Um, also, real quick, USB ports to the left and right. Another Telluride-esque feature. These vehicles are just about the same size, the Sorento being a little bit smaller and no V6 option at this point. So keep that in mind. Your Sorento is gonna come with uh, you know, uh, some sort of naturally aspirated four cylinder or a turbocharged four cylinder of a couple different sizes. Um, getting into the third row has been made nice and easy. So you've got two one touch buttons. Boom. Second row, seating for two people back here versus three. You have USB ports and storage to the left and right. Another peek at those nice uh, in and out handles right there. Little third row glass as well. USBs. Rear occupant sensors up above. Once you leave the vehicle, these three sensors right here are shooting out sonar looking for any feedback to see if there's any movement, any sort of uh, object that is not the space of the vehicle. This is going to alert you on your phone if you have your UVO services set up or the vehicle's gonna make some noise to let you know, hey, someone's in here still. Don't leave them behind. All right, so nice little third row right here as you can see, folks. Let's go ahead and check out the hatch. Rear parking sensors nicely hidden into the black trim here. We've got a set of uh, cloth floor mats back here and a front bracket. Uh, rear seats, easy to fold down. You can see they've got a little Velcro strip for the tether. Pull, headrest drops down. Just pull up with a little bit of tension there. It's kind of a one step feature. Pull up, forward with the tether. All right. So you can see you've got some nice storage back here. There's a 12 volt outlet as well and the same system to have these seat belts tucked back for you and out of the way. If you need extra cargo space, fold down your second row from right here. Bam. So that's dropped down. Front uh, seats are far back, just a little bit for filming purposes. Back here, you can see we've got a nice under tray for some extra storage. Uh, the Sorento comes with an air inflation kit, a little mobility kit, some little, uh, little seal right here. Um, so you do get roadside assistance with your Kia, which is probably what they're recommending for this type of vehicle. Um, instead of adding a spare tire, adding weight to the vehicle, things of that nature. Just get it towed, folks. Or if you need to, you've got your mobility kit just in case. Check this out. You've got a lock button right here, as well as your power lift gate button as well. Let's go ahead and get that closed. That is an adjustable lift gate as well. There are some instructions for that inside of the jam. Over here, you can see we have a four-way adjustable manual passenger seat. And that, my friends, is going to wrap it up for this 2021 Kia Sorento EX all-wheel drive. Guys, if you'd like any more information, pricing, purchasing options, head on over to KiaofColumbia.com. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your shopping and informational needs. Also, if this particular video has helped or influenced you into making a big buying decision on this brand new vehicle or maybe something similar, and you'd like to thank me for my time and efforts but could not purchase from me directly, please feel free to utilize the tip jar in my about section or on the cover art of my channel. Your help and support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, guys. This is Matt Croissant at Kia of Columbia. I hope you're having a wonderful day.